In my face, in my face. What's up, people? What's up, people? Join the room, join the room. All right, all right, all right, family. Welcome back. Let me get my videos and stuff set up here. I am going to put this. I am here, Sunday, Funday here. I got my video set up here on Instagram, trying to get you guys situated so you guys can tune in and hear the good news of today so you guys can get the good news of today so you guys can still see me on my Instagram. Cool, 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 cool. What is today? What is today, everybody? Today is... October 17th, October 17th, 2021, what are you doing with your life, with your time, while you're here on this earth? You know, we only get, we only get so much time on this earth, what are you doing to make it, make your dreams reality? So today, we are going to come to you, let me finish sharing my screen here. I'm going to come to you with a couple things about self-employment, self-employment and the tax snowball today. But first, before we begin, being too cautious is the greatest risk of all. Make your dreams reality now. Time is the number one currency. Time is the number one currency. I say it every week. We come to you guys every Sunday. Come to you guys every Sunday at 8 p.m to share with you guys the good news and to motivate you guys to do more in this life because being too cautious, again, is the greatest risk of all. Make your dreams reality now. Time is the number one currency. Use it now. Without commitment, you will never never start. More importantly, without consistency, you will never finish. Do more. Do more. Do more, people. So our new focus for today's Sunday Fun Day is self-employment and the tax snowball. So as you guys probably watch my lives during the week, I get out there and I jog and I do my comedic yoga in the yard and I go live. For those people who are on my uh, YouTube channel, Life of Dudley, that's my personal YouTube channel. Um, you'll see me on there doing yoga and jogging and stuff. And I also swim laps. And uh, one guy... He uh, caught my eye because I bring my, my phone in there and I, I record myself swimming laps. He, uh, I guess I caught his eye. So in the back in the locker room, he's like, hey, I recognize you like record yourself. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. You record yourself. You like, you like got special training or something? I'm like, no, no. I just kind of like picked this up when I was uh, growing up, you know, as I, you know, lifted weights and everything like that. It was kind of like, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and, uh, you know, cool down. I had a cool down. So I used to go in the sauna and then go swim, swim lap. So I picked up swimming lap. So anyway, this guy, his name's Louie. He, we sparked up a conversation in the locker room. It's kind of why I go places and I like to talk to people. You never know where opportunity lies, right? Um, so we sparked up a nice conversation. Um, and he said, hey, man, you know, what do you do? And I was like, yeah, I'm a tax accountant. I have my own accounting firm and uh, we do um, taxes for, you know, small business owners and self-employed individuals. And he's like, oh, yeah, really? I have a tax liability at $10,000. IRS sent me a letter saying I owed $10,000, you know, because I did Uber. He's like, hey, I did Uber. You know, IRS is, you know, saying, hey, I owe $10,000, you know, can you, you know, I really don't want to pay that. You know, anybody can help. And I was kind of telling him that, you know, the, the best thing that he can do 
uh, is definitely get his financial statements and actually get his financial statements drafted, which is an income statement throughout the year. So you take all your income from Uber and you take all of your mileage from Uber and all of your um, deductions, you know, for, you know, different things you have to buy for Uber, right? So we want to take all of your expenses against your income and that's going to lower your tax liability, right? So I kind of like talk to him, talk to him um, a little bit, didn't give him, you know, too much detail. I, you know, gave him my website and, you know, Hopefully he gets on my calendar here soon, but that just sparked up, you know, interest in me, you know, protecting you all from the tax snowball. Um, I got on a video before talking about Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, um, when he he was the first famous, he made all this money um, in his professional career, which he didn't pay taxes on. Right. And he ended up being a victim of the tax snowball. So in today's example, as you guys can see, I have my my op uh, OneNote here open, and I haven't been on OneNote in a while. I've been yeah, I've been using OneNote in a while, and I thought I'd hop on here and use uh, OneNote for you guys, to just illustrate and paint the picture for you guys on how this tax snowball looks and how you can avoid it, right? Because we don't want to be owing fifteen grand, twenty grand in taxes at the end of the year if we're doing gig jobs, doing self employment, you know, so employment type of jobs. Even if you're a business owner, you can be hit with the tax snowball, right? So I definitely want you guys to be aware of this and be prepared going into October. It's getting cold now. We're going into October, we're going into tax um, season. And I want you to get you guys over to um, our, you know, our um, calendar so you can set up your account with us at Dudley Accounting Services so you can be ready for tax season. So hit us up at DudleyAccountingServices.com. That's a little plug right now. I'll put it in there right now. But DudleyAccountingServices.com to um, get on our calendar and get your account set up. Um, we're doing free um, W-2 tax returns this year um, for 2021. So definitely hit us up. So self-employment and the tax snowball, right? So in our example, we have handy dandy Bob over here, right? We're just going to circle his face. Bob over here makes a hundred um, thousand dollars with Uber in 2019. Uh, he makes a hundred thousand dollars with Uber in 2019 and forgets to file his 1099 with IRS, right? He forgets to file taxes um, on that income for the a the hundred thousand dollars, right? For a hundred thousand dollars, Bob marginal marginal tax rate is a whopping 24 plus self-employment tax, which is 15.3%, right? So we can estimate his tax liability for 2019 being $40,000. So out of that $100,000 that he drove around and worked hard and made all his money with Uber, he has to pay nearly half of that, 40 grand to the IRS, right? So Bob didn't have an accountant. He didn't have a, a tax you know, professional in his corner. So he just kind of went out and made the money. And towards the end of the year, he forgot to file his taxes. Has a $40,000 tax liability, right? Has no financials. He has no idea what malady has um, to combat this tax liability, right? Um, so the next year happens, 2020. He's in his next year. So he quits Uber and he starts working with DoorDash in 2020. And he makes another a hundred thousand dollars, right? Bob's make another makes another hundred k in two thousand twenty with DoorDash, right? So he has a two he has to pay a forty thousand dollar IRS tax liability for, from two thousand nineteen, right? So you can see that here, he has to pay this forty grand from two thousand nineteen. Plus, he has to pay another forty grand for the two thousand. That's not working out for the 2020 income. So he has to pay nearly 80 grand, right? So over both years, he has to pay 40 grand, right? So he has to pay 40 grand for 2019 liability and 40 grand for the 2020 liability, which leaves him 20 grand of disposable income left. Literally, who can live off? Who can tell me who can live off 20 grand of disposable income to pay your rent? You pay your rent, you buy groceries and everything like that. You know, so you don't want to get behind. So say if Bob here 
doesn't pay his taxes for 2020. So he is in a hole for 40 grand in 2019, 40 grand in 2020. Right. And then he like keeps on repeating this and not, you know, getting estimated taxes, not um, seeing how much money, you know, he, he needs to make uh, estimated tax payments for. So, you know, all you pretty much have to do is take a, a quarter, take the total um, um, gross income and pay your t- remit your um, tax um, payments. You know, you can just literally go and do that yourself. But Bob doesn't do this. So he gets into this tax snowball in which what the which what happens in the tax snowball, the money that Bob makes goes right to the IRS. The the I, he's basically working for the IRS now and he's not having any money for himself. So we want to get you guys out of this tax snowball. We want to get you guys used to the es- making estimated payments and getting ready for tax time, right? We want you guys ahead of the game. You know, and, and it's and it's pretty easy. If you guys get ahead of the game and you guys get a good tax professional in your corner, it's it's pretty easy. It's not not too hard um, to stay ahead of this type of stuff. But definitely you have to do that. You have to go out and act. You have to go out and execute. Um, but definitely reach out to us at DudleyAccountingServices.com. Get on our calendar here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys our website. Uh, here, but yeah, get on our calendar at Dudley Accounting Services um, dot com here, and we'll set you set your account up. Two thousand twenty one, we're doing free tax filing for um, new clients, and uh, looking forward to getting into some really interesting um, uh, things during tax season. I'm already having um, some uh, clients reaching out with some different um, stories, if you will. But um, definitely reach out to us at Dudley Accounting Services again and definitely do more. If you guys want, you know, any, you know, motivation, just watch my videos, um, go out and do more in this life. Family, it's been a blessing. I will talk to you next week. Peace.